Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on Depop and in a few other places. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Normally I do like heavy reseller content, but I thought it would be fun because it is holiday season um, to do a last minute Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, what other holidays are there? To do a last minute gift guide video <laughs> under $30. So keeping it affordable and for any person in your life, I think these gifts can work for. So anyway, let's jump into it. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I really love my reusable cup. <laughs> I have two that I use primarily and I think that these are a gift that you can give to literally any person uh, for any reason whether it's your kids teacher or if it's your best friend whoever it might be I think it's a great gift this is Zojirushi brand thermos and it actually keeps things super hot um, and if you put something cold in it, obviously it will keep it cold. And then this is my keep cup. It's a little dirty right now because I actually used it today. But the nice thing about this is that you can customize the, um, the, the look. So you can get, they have different shapes and things, but you can get a pink top with a blue bottom. You can just do it all black, however you want to do it. You can switch it up and they have different style rings for this. So um, I think that's really cool. This also comes in different colors. Both are available on Amazon and you can also order them directly from, uh, from each company. I could talk about this forever actually, but I like it because it's great for ice drinks and um, the ice won't actually you know, fall out if you are drinking an iced drink. <laughs> Anyway, it's perfect. Um, it's tempered glass, so basically it won't break. That's gift number one. Reusable cup. I think I think we've talked enough about that one. Gift number two. I think this is pretty obvious, but a candle. And not everyone's big on the candles, and not everyone is into the same scents. But this one I got from Target. Uh, that's the silver pine scent. I think it's showing up. And... Uh, kind of just smells like Christmas. I don't know. It's not everyone's cup of tea to give away a candle, but I'm pretty sure candles, scarves, mittens, that kind of thing is like the most given gift during the holidays. Anyway, I love receiving candles. This is a soy candle. Like I said, it's from Target, but you can level up your basic candle gift to make it like a self-care gift or something like that. <laughs> something along those lines and you can add in a face mask this is one of my favorites and this is from coco kind i recently bought this this is the collab with shut the kale up this one is the chlorophyll mask and this is just like a little sample size that i got but um yeah i think doing a candle and a mixed gift situation is always great uh, I think that in general, I prefer pairing small gifts to make a larger gift. I think it makes it a little bit more fun to unbox and it feels more like a present because you're getting multiples of tiny things, but that's just me. <laughs> and I also think that it makes it kind of look like a higher value gift. So you might get a candle that's only $5, but then you put in a mask. It doesn't have to be this one, obviously, but you put in like a small face mask or you put in a, um, a small bottle of wine or whiskey or whatever your person likes and it is sort of just like a new gift a bigger gift it's like spending more but you don't have to anyway so on the topic of combo gifts I guess we can say I think it's a really great idea to put together objects that are similar so if you could just, I mean, you could literally go on Pinterest to say basket gift for whiskey lover, basket gift for new mom, basket gift for someone who really likes cows. I don't know. <laughs> Animal lover, whatever. I think putting uh, multiples of small items together in a small basket is always a nice thing to do and it doesn't have to be expensive. So... 
that's that. So that brings me to my next point. I think tea and chocolate or coffee and chocolate. This one is um, a new tea I just bought. This is the reishi mushroom tea from Buddha Teas. Uh, but this is also just a dark chocolate. But I think tea and chocolate and coffee are great gifts, especially for someone who really enjoys sweets. Doing chocolate with a drink of some kind is really nice. You just kind of have to find out if your person is more of a tea drinker or a coffee drinker, whatever that might be. And if you don't really know, you can maybe do both or just guess. <laughs> Someone in their life will appreciate it and it can be consumed. So it doesn't have to be a gift that you think that they're never going to use. But anyway, I love these kinds of gifts personally. And I mean, come on, who doesn't want chocolate? I mean, maybe, maybe someone doesn't want chocolate, but it's a great gift. <laughs> this is another product that I've personally used and that I really love sharing about and talking about. This is, I should have said this at the beginning, but this is like not a sponsored video or anything. None of the products in this video are things that people have paid me to talk about. That's not, not a thing, but I talk about this on my Instagram a lot and it's yay for earth. Now these are the travel size and then the two ounce and these are made in small batches with love. <laughs> it's a zero, a zero, I can't speak. It's a zero waste company uh, made by uh, Stevie Yeh who is based in New York and they have, hold on, let me actually just tell you what's in it. It's a face lotion and it's got olive oil, beeswax, shea butter, organic pomegranate seed oil, raw honey and that's it nothing else so this is what the back of the packaging looks like i hope you can see that and it's clear and that's a little graphic anyway i'm giving away a ton of these as gifts and they're very affordable the travel size is i think 12.50 and this is 25 and you can see i've clearly used a ton of it so yeah I think these are great gifts and they work like magic. You can put them on anything. I use this uh, lotion for my skin and my face as a moisturizer, but I also use it when my hands are dry or on my eczema or on my dogs, like little hot spots or scratches when he gets them or on his paws when the winter comes and the salt goes on the, on the sidewalk. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is like magic, but this is my fave, like absolute fave product for my skin care life situation ever and it's great because it's sustainable and well made and high quality now the last gift in the gift guide has no physical product and I did this on purpose because I think it's important to not buy things that people won't necessarily use or don't love so I think one gift that you can always give is an experience and maybe that sounds dumb, but something I used to love doing when I was a kid and even as a young adult and sometimes still is put together like little ticket books of one coupon for homemade meal. One coupon for a sit down chat. <laughs> one coupon for a night on the town, whatever it might be. Uh, I think you could put together a coupon book for the person that you are gifting this to and that doesn't cost anything Obviously, there's a cost that is incurred later But I like those kinds of gifts because it is an experience just offering to spend time with someone offering to provide value for a person and My dog Leo is joining the picture. He's walking around here in case you hear him <laughs> Hi, bud How's it going? My point is, I think that coupon books or just experiential gifts are really valuable, even if you think they're cheesy. It's something that I enjoy receiving, and this is Leo again. <laughs> I think people undervalue those experiences and they don't gift them quite often. I'm very used to receiving gifts that are like socks, candles, picture frames, scarves, mittens, that kind of thing, and all of those things I value, but I don't always necessarily need extra stuff. I do always enjoy receiving someone's time and effort and knowing that, you know, even if they didn't get me the latest, greatest new gadget and thing, that they put effort into offering 
their time or their love or their patience and whatever it is. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy that gift guide situation. All those gifts are under $30. Even the coupon book, I mean, the coupon book is kind of just something that's handmade and it's just an experience. And I think I've talked about it, all of these things enough. Maybe, I don't know, should I clarify anything? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if any of these gifts are things that you're giving away or that you're going to give or if you've ever given them in the past. I know that this time of year is really difficult for a lot of people and it's hard thinking of, you know, what gift you should give to someone who you may or may not know super well or thinking about what kinds of gifts you want to give to your best friends. I mean, nobody wants to spend an arm and a leg but you do want it to be something that they appreciate and value and um, yeah. So let's recap. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this in the right order, but we're gonna recap now. Okay, gift number one, a reusable cup. It could be the Keep Cup, the Zojirushi, a Hydro Flask, something else, reusable cup. Gift number two is a candle or a self-care kit. It is a basket of small goodies that you can put together for someone who really needs them. Gift number three is some chocolate, some tea, some coffee, something that someone can consume quickly or not so quickly, but they can sit and enjoy because who doesn't like this stuff? I'm telling you, it's good. Gift number four is Yay for Earth face lotion. Let me turn this around, my fave. Just, this is magic, actual magic. And gift number five is your love and appreciation. No, but it's an experience, something that you hand make, something that you give, and that is all. Five gifts under $30 for this holiday season. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you're gonna buy any of these gifts for your friends, your family, your neighbors, whomever. Whoever or whomever, you can let me know down in the comments what the grammar is on that. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Leo, what do you want for Christmas? Maybe um, maybe a new toy, because you ate the head off of that one that you're standing on. Yeah.